It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I hope that idea is exciting to us, Christmas, as we enter into the month of December. We know as Catholics, we have to get ready for the birth of Jesus. St. Augustine says, Awake mankind, for your sake, God has become man. I tell you, for your sake, God has become man. So what do we do? So you've got Advent, right? Well, not quite. The Cyril Malabar Church is entering the season of Annunciation. There is a particular focus with Advent on the coming of Jesus. So we prepare, and this is good, but the season of Annunciation has a slightly different emphasis. The Syriac word for the season is Subana, which can be translated to mean announcement. We say it is the season of Annunciation, or Malayalam Mangala Vartakalam. The word itself communicates the good news that comes from the announcement, which we can summarize in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. This good news that God has become man is the beginning of a new era of peace and hope. We enter into the beauty of this announcement during every holy kramana, as the priest says, Glory to God in the highest. And the congregation proclaims peace and hope to people on earth always and forever. In the Garosus of Prayers of the season, we reflect on how our fallen humanity was redeemed and the gates of heaven were opened for us because God became man. It is important to know that this was an action of love. God loved humanity so much that he emptied himself to become one of us in solidarity so that he could eventually die for our sins. This is a joyful news that is given for us to celebrate during this season. So there are two themes which we can reflect on for this season, fulfillment and preparation. God becoming man is an event of fulfillment. The Old Testament prophesies about a savior that will come to give hope to the people. That hope is here and now in Jesus Christ. He is the fulfillment of every heart's desire. His presence is what we have always been searching for. At the same time, this season allows us to prepare to receive Jesus anew in our hearts. The 25 days of fasting in the Cyril Malabar Church is a time of preparation. We purify ourselves, make more room within ourselves for Jesus to arrive at the very day of Christmas. As John the Baptist said, he must increase and I must decrease. Here we can connect certain Christmas activities very much with the spirit of the season. To build a crib nativity scene, oftentimes we might just buy a nativity scene from the store, but we could try building a nativity scene to enter more deeply into this fulfillment. As we put forward our nativity scene in our homes and churches, let us make a prominent space within our hearts for Jesus to dwell. Contemplating this great annunciation and knowing that Jesus can dwell in our hearts, we feel compelled to share our joy with such activities as Christmas caroling. We visit all the homes within our parish with the statue of the child Jesus and sing songs that proclaim this joy that comes from the Annunciation. The joy that we share from house to house comes very much from this crucial response of Mary to the announcement, where she says, let it be done to me according to your word. The yes of Mary is where the initial act of salvation becomes a reality. Mary is the perfect model of the season as she fully gives herself to God's plan trusting in the Father. Just as she cooperated perfectly with the plan of God, we too should try to imitate her yes in our own lives. So as we enter the season, let us be joyful about the Annunciation. Let Mary, all the angels and the saints, help us to prepare for the joyful coming of the Lord in our own hearts so that we can truly proclaim glory to God in the highest. Praise be to Jesus Christ.
now, always, and forever.